Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. It is Thursday, October the 6th. And of course, our devotions are coming from Joanna Weaver's book called At the Feet of Jesus. And our opening scripture comes from Psalm 103, verse 11. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. And fear, of course, means awesome respect. Now, I believe that everything we were made for and everything we've ever wanted is found in Paul's prayer in Ephesians chapter, chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. And here it is. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. But in order to appropriate the all-encompassing love of God, we must grasp the important key that Paul's prayer reveals, that you may have power to know this love that surpasses knowledge. The marvelous incongruity of that statement hit me several years ago. Wait, Lord, how can I know something that surpasses knowledge, I asked. <laughs> His answer came sweet and low to my spirit. You have to stop trying to understand it and start accepting it, Joanna. Just let me love you. For the reality is, no matter how hard we try, we will never be able to explain or deserve such amazing grace and incredible love. Nor can we escape it. It's just too wide. Ephesians 3.18 tells us we can't get around it. It's just too high. We can't get over it. It's too long. We'll never be able to outrun it. And it's so deep, we'll never be able to exhaust it. Bottom line, you can't get away from God's love, no matter how hard you try. For he's pursuing you, my friend. Maybe it's time to stop running away from love and start running toward it. Even if at times it just seems too good to be true. I think all of us have a bit of a struggle with the depth of love that God has for us because we filter it through our own shallow love. Our love is very superficial and very conditional. So it's beyond comprehension how God can love us or even love the enemy or the person we perceive to be our enemy. The person that is reprehensible and repulsive because of the evil choices they've made, yet God loves them. He wants them free from that. So it's beyond our comprehension. And as she said, stop trying to understand it and just let him love on you. Now, Psalm 103, verses 1 through 12. We're reading 12 verses today. I love the Psalms. Woo! I never realized how prophetic the Psalms were. Read Psalm 83 out loud. That's We just entered a new Jewish New Year, and I don't remember the number. But 83 is the psalm for this year. Read it. Read it. In context to what we're going through currently right now in this nation. Oh boy. God is good and he's faithful. He's a just God who loves justice. Okay, you can see I've got Psalm 103 highlighted and underlined. It's a good one. Must be. Okay. Okay. Psalm 103, verses 1 through 12. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. Write that down. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercy. Mercies, excuse me, that's multi, that's pluralized. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. I receive that, Lord. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. Thank you, Father. 
He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. He will not constantly accuse us nor remain angry forever. He does not punish us for all our sins. Read that again. He does not punish us for all our sins, but does deal harshly with us as we deserve. For his unfailing love toward those who fear him is, a gr is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. Read Psalm 103 verses 1 through 12 again yourself. Highlight there's so much in there to just promises to, to grab onto for yourself. Truths, because remember it's impossible for God to lie. So read that passage out loud. Let the words sink into your soul. This is what God has done for you. Now receive it. Read, that's I never give homework assignments, but read that today on your own. Read it today on your own and let your heart accept and receive the greatness of the love that he has poured out on you. So much in there. No matter what's happening in your life, this is what God has done for you. And that's enough. He doesn't, I love that one. I didn't even realize it said he doesn't punish us for our sins, but deals with us harshly as we deserve. We deserve it. Then we deserve it. Oh, I love the Lord so much. He's so good to us. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for your great love spelled out to us in Psalm 103. Now hide that word in our heart. Help us to just receive the love and believe you for it. It's impossible for you to lie. So I accept every word, Father God. Let it speak life to my soul. Let it speak life to our spirits, O oh God. Let us receive it without question. And Lord, in the areas where we are confused, in the areas where we have difficulty receiving, Father, help us. Help us to believe you. Help us to receive and accept it. And then help us to pour it out to others. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for your word today in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me. If you've been encouraged by that word, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Share it with your friends. Come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. I do a variety of fun things, just things I enjoy. Dollar Tree, hauls, crafts, decorating, fashion, whatever. <laughs> Not that I'm the greatest at any of that stuff. <laughs> I just love to do it and share it. So God bless you and bye until next time.